Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the Rad Gaming Podcast. I'm Pescador, and in this episode of the podcast, I have a long, lengthy discussion with Max. Max and I talk about Apple partnering with Valve to create an AR experience, BlizzCon's announcements, such as Diablo 4, WoW Shadowlands, Hearthstone, and Overwatch 2, and we go into new games that are coming out this month, such as Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and Death Stranding. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by Chenta Fiore. Chenta Fiore is the lifestyle, is the fashion brand, and you can get all their comfortable clothing at chentafiore.com. That is C E N T O F I O R I.com. Also, the Rag Game Podcast is part of Big Heads Media. With that said, on to the podcast. Welcome to the Rad Gaming Podcast. It's your host, Pescador. Today, he'll be talking to Max from Tech to the Max. He has his own YouTube channel, but he's recently foregone it and uh, is putting all of his efforts into this podcast. So don't even go look it up. Just watch this podcast on yeah, YouTube. <laughs> which I truly appreciate because now uh, we're making a full set of steam here. Yeah, we are. We're getting, we're getting after it now, man. So um, Apple. Let's just jump. I want to jump right into it. Apple is going to be going into the augmented reality um, style of things. Yes. And uh, we actually didn't know this, but apparently they're going to be teaming up with Steam. So Valve in general. So Valve already has a product out in the market. They have their own VR headset. And apparently Apple's teaming up with Valve in order to do a augmented reality. Yes, that's that's correct. Um, and it's from what what we were reading, it's like virtual reality and augmented reality are different. And so what you have with your virtual reality is you put on the headset, put in the earpieces, grab your wands, and you're in a different reality. You're in a, I don't know, you're in a mountainside someplace, you know, hitting goats. I don't know, whatever it may be. Augmented reality is you put on the headset, put in the ears, you grab your, your wands, and you can see all of the stuff in the room with you. It's yeah. just taking your world and digitizing it, and then they have the ability to change it and, and stuff like that, from what I'm understanding. Yeah, and which is really strange because Valve has been, in my opinion, they've been taking a big hit with everything they've been doing recently. I know that Epic Games has took a huge chunk out of, um, I guess, Steam's cat, like uh, money in general because they, they teamed up with a whole bunch of uh, corporations like Ubisoft. Ubisoft is only going to be launching on... Uh, the Epic Game Store. Okay. I know that they've been doing that. Things like they offer developers a a bigger cut from the money that they produce. So I know Steam did like 30%. Uh, they take uh, 30% away from the developers when they when they launch their game on the um when on Steam. Okay. But when they do on it when they do it on Epic Game Store, they actually take I think it was like 12 or 15%, so it's basically half. Um, so a lot of development is going over to um, Epic Games, nice. which is which is nice. It gives a little bit of competition. Steam and EA have actually linked up again. At one point in time, EA has their own launcher called EA Origin, like Origins in general. Mm-hmm. You have to use their launcher to play EA games. They took it away from Steam. Now they are actually working with Steam um, and putting their games back on the Steam uh, store. Which is interesting because uh, I never saw that one coming because, you know, why with the day and age of everyone having their own launcher sure, right? and their own store, why would EA do that? But, I mean, EA's getting a huge hit from um, other games being launched. But I think it's interesting that they've uh, Valve has actually teamed up with Apple to create an augmented reality. Yeah, I'm, so I don't know if you've ever held an iPhone or an iPad, but it's like holding the future. So, so, as someone who plays, as someone who plays VR um, pretty much on the regular, like I'm gonna go home tonight and play some Beat Saber. It's kind of been my thing lately. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited to see what Apple brings to the market whenever they start putting support and developing into this augmented reality versus virtual reality, but this augmented reality for Steam and Valve. Um, 
I think it's going to give Facebook's Oculus a run for its money. Um, I think it'll be right in line with where the PS5 comes out and they have their um, their processors built into uh, the thing, uh, into the PS5 for their virtual reality. Um, the really cool thing, though, is that they're t- calling it augmented reality, like I was talking about earlier, versus virtual reality. And so if you can put on a headset and you're sitting here at your computer, but it's all digitized, and then you push a button and you're in space, now we're in that virtual reality kind of mindset, push another button, I'm sitting back at my desk and I'm in augmented reality, take off said headset and I'm in reality. That's crazy to me, man. It's like the inception, dude. It's like... Yeah, which which is crazy because I know that Apple has always been on the forefront of uh, inventing things. They've always come out with some inventive way to do something. Oh, let's yeah, there you okay, go. I was so. gonna say. I was gonna say that what what Steve Jobs was really known for was taking others' ideas and making them better. Correct. And so, um, whereas improving the design exactly. So or, that's or like right. making it their own, which kind yeah. of stinks because like they took you know a charging cord and made a lightning cord, and then they don't use the normal what is it a headphone jack anymore? Yeah, like are you talking about that? No, I was talking, yeah, no, I was talking like about USB C, micro yeah, USB, so. all of the USBs. And sometimes that creativity can cause issues with design. Yeah, but um, the people that are getting into it at that time are like that's what they know. Voice. So going yeah, well, going forward from it, like so when I got into the Apple. Um, it's a lightning charger. I never had one before. Now I have an, a lightning charger. And so going forward with all of my Apple products, it'll use the lightning charger. Yeah. And I'm okay with it. Um, so, so it's not, I mean, I have, it's not I have that really Apple. big of a switch um, unless you have, I don't know, two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. <laughs> um, but what, what I was trying to get at is the fact that even though something this is like really uncharted territory technically, I mean, it's like, it's something new for them to team up together and mm-hmm. do something and I'm really interested to see Steam uh, or Valve in general has a really great concept of gaming. Mm-hmm. And Apple, not so much, but they have the technology and the resources to create something amazing. And to build upon. Yeah, that's great. And um, it's going to be cool, man. So like, look forward for that coming out. Um, I said, I think they said it's going to be uh, sometime in the middle of the year 2020 is when we'll get either more information or we'll actually get the product itself. Um, so I'm excited, man. Yeah, I am excited. <laughs> BlizzCon, I know BlizzCon. we talked about you, you before the podcast. You played Diablo. I played Diablo a little bit. Uh, it's really just kind of like leveling up your character, going into dungeons, finding certain things, killing monsters, doing little like raids and stuff, partnering up with people. Just your real, I don't know, MMO. Uh, it's just a just another MMO. Yeah, um, but it was fun. It had a lot of um, a lot of people played it and they kept coming out with expansions and they started coming out with like these deluxe packs that you could buy and all sorts of cool stuff. And then they dropped Diablo 3 and it blew up and now we have Diablo 4. Yes. So yeah, like I never got into Diablo and which is sad because I've, I've always been about MMOs. Like yeah. I enjoy them. I really do. Um, the only, the only issue that I've ever had with them is the fact that they're very time consuming Oh yeah. because if you take a step back and not play the game for a while, you're going to be rusty. You're not going to do well. Mm -hmm. Um, you're going to bring your team down if you're working with a team to do like a raid or something like that. So, uh, I, I enjoy them, but it's just very time consuming. I, I agree. Um, I didn't really play it a whole, whole lot. I'm more into the, um, I like more hack and slash type games now. Although, uh, Diablo 4 was more hack and slash. Okay. You're running around. It wasn't like turn based, so. Uh, but yeah, again, very time consuming. And I didn't really play it, but this new trailer, man. Oh, this trailer for Diablo super 4. super dark, like really dark. Like this is some like some sacrilegious. Like, but it is Diablo <laughs> exactly. Mean. Um, I think the premise of this game, not the whole premise, but you you see some characters from back before. But the what they're going for is the idea of a female devil opposed to a male devil. Lilith, I believe yeah, it is. Lilith is what we is what we saw. Um. Go watch the trailer if you guys haven't watched. Go watch the trailer if you haven't watched the trailer. Yeah, like, me too. It's it, it would have fallen perfectly for Halloween. Like, if they should have released that on Halloween, it kind of reminded me of something that you would see in Game of Thrones. Uh, like, I don't want to ruin it for anyone that hasn't seen it, but if you haven't seen it by now, then you're so far behind. And oh. You deserve to be get ruined for. Um, there, there was one part. <laughs> there was one part in Game of Thrones, and this is a spoiler. You can fast forward a little bit ahead if you haven't heard this part. But in the new season of Game of Thrones, in which um, you know the White Walkers, when they kill um, people, they they lie dead, obviously, until the the, the Night King kind of makes them rise up again. Mm-hmm. In one part of the trailer, we kind of saw someone uh, a soldier fall. Uh, you didn't really technically see them fall, but later on in the 
trailer, they kind of come back as mm-hmm. like a, a Walking Dead kind of yeah. creature. Um, yeah, it just I don't know, really, really unholy demon from the pits of hell. Yeah, um, and uh, I don't know. I like when the guy is he's he's making this comment about like the light will protect me, the light will protect me, um, and the guy, the evil, the evil doer says there is no light here. You've come to the darkness yeah. for knowledge, and now you know. Like some something along those lines, and then the blood, and I don't know. Very the blood intertwines with and, one another. And creates like a spider web of yeah, things and opens know, a man. gate to the depths of hell. <laughs> It was yeah, so go look at go look this one up. It's gonna be, it's a solid play for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, no, I I don't even I don't think what is the oh, there's I, no release. Uh, yeah, they don't have a release date. I'm I'm just joking. It's not gonna be. It's releasing on Christmas, guys. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. Um, they didn't give us a release date, so we don't know. Um, but the trailer looks really really cool. Um, or really dark. I don't know. It's I cool. It There's some it's, comedic relief in there a little bit. Yeah, there know? was a little bit of... And, I mean, even though it was super dark comedic relief, but I mean, <laughs> that it is. It's like, a, yes. like, I'll say it again, it's Diablo. Diablo. So. Diablo. But yeah, you know, WoW Shadowlands also was talked about. I didn't play WoW ever. I've seen people play it, didn't play it. I loved WoW back in the day. <laughs> I did. I did. I was one of those people that I would grind my character to the max... Um, level that you possibly could and then I would get all my characters up to that max level um, and then I stopped playing because I realized how much time it was taking away from my life and that's why I didn't play Diablo um, because I got in WoW later on this was after I think it was during the expansion of Lich King I believe that I joined and it was just yeah yeah it was around that a little after lich king i think whatever the next expansion was i can't remember it's been far too long since i played wow um but i really liked wow it was really good yeah but, um i've seen a, i've seen it played um i can see how people can get super addicted to it or get addicted games are not addicting yeah who, who said that but i can see i can see how people can get to the point where they just want to play it all the time want to play it all night all day off work, go there's, a, there's a really huge social aspect to yeah the there really is a lot of people i've heard people you talk about wow and if someone goes oh i played wow they immediately have like a conversation about wow and it goes real in depth and different yeah. tips and tricks especially and if like you're part, part of a guild though like my my mm-hmm. my guild was highly active and i remember that we would constantly get on the mics to do raids and i actually got to know like really well like the characters that i played with or the people that i played with mm-hmm. behind the characters i should say and I actually made friends that way. Like, I actually became friends with some people that were my guild, and I still talk to them to this day. But you, even though you don't play WoW? Well, yeah, no. No, go. I'm See? still friends with them. Connecting so. humanity, man. I'm all about it. Man. And they say that, you know, you lose social skills when you play video games, but I don't believe that just because... Not the, this day and age. No, no not at all. Yeah. Maybe maybe back in the 90s. Yeah, I mean, when all you would sit, do is sit inside and play your... Uh, let's see, 90s. I want to date myself. What would the 90s be? PlayStation yeah. PlayStation 1 came out in 95. Yeah, yeah there you go. So play in your PlayStation 1, not I was connected. Playing, I was playing the NES. I'm not going to lie. That's what's up. I still have my NES. I mean, I still do too. Well, it's not I played it today. Yeah? You played it today? No, I'm just joking. No, I'm, just trying, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to one-up you. I'm just trying to one-up you. Just, just I haven't touched my... I, I tested it when I, uh, when I brought it back from my parents' place like a year ago just to make sure that it still worked. Did it? Yeah. You want to know why? Because that's how you make a game console. Yeah, all of those, all of those, all of those game consoles still work. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, man. Sorry, Wow, Shadowlands. Like I kind of got off. off <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's fine. It's, it's our podcast. We can say what we want. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this page, I'll just go ahead and read it. The expansions we put are going to gonna have new factions uh, called Covenant, called Covenants, uh, plus high level raids and all new character class. Means nothing to me. It means something <laughs> to the people that play WoW because um, just getting a new character class is 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 epic. I mean, that, that's another character you get to grind to the top. How many? How many? Oh, don't even ask. Oh, are you going to say how many character classes are there? Yeah, there? I was going to say. Oh, is my there... goodness gracious! <sighs> Give me a rough number. Twenty? No, not that many. Okay. I, 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 I don't know. Seven. I haven't played in a while, so it's it's been a while. My I, point I, is, like, what could it? What could it? What? Do you, what do we think the next character class is going to be? I have no idea. Like, what could it be? They're doing? very good at coming out with like new, uh, new, new races and new character classes. I, I don't know. Oh, cool. Like my favorite, my favorite was a uh, human paladin. Like, I loved that like combo isn't that together. Just, isn't that just the? Let's see, because that's in other games too. You're just a human that can what fight? Oh, it can switch between tank and in heels, and oh, that's okay. why I liked it so much because 
if you wanted to do dungeons and stuff like that, you'd have to queue up for um, those dungeons, and it takes forever for your DPS. So DPS de- damage per second. Um, so any ba- basically most people are DPS. So like you know warlocks, they have wizard, like you know like like a, like a um, shaman things like that. You can be DPS. Um, mm-hmm. But if you're a paladin, you can queue up as either or. So like if you join a team and they're like, oh man, I need it. The healer died. You can switch to healer and heal everyone on your team. If the tank dies, you can you can switch to tank and tank the entire dungeon. Or you can just go in and, and queue as one or the other and just continue the raid as what you you know queued to begin with. But it's just very versatile and I really like the nice. paladin. Well, I hope the new character class is something that continues to grow wow and... I mean, the people that like it, I, I support you. Go play your games, man. Yeah. Power, to, power to the players. Is that power to the players in GameStop? <laughs> it was, is that GameStop's thing? Power to the players? Sh- slogan? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, dude. Yeah. GameStop's got to get their stuff together. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. they're, you can trade in... Oh, what can you trade in now? Uh, cell phones? I think it was cell phones. I don't even remember. Or maybe computer parts? Maybe keyboards and stuff? I don't know. The, the chick at, at GameStop the other day told me that they have like this whole like buyback program for hardware did you ever see those those youtube videos in which people like take like a whole bunch like a console and a ton of games and they're like we're gonna give you like 30 bucks for all that that's how it is man it kills me i i I understand they want to make a profit but that's just like so the trick is the trick is is to go and buy a used game play it for six days take it back on the sixth day and buy a different game and then I play that for doing that. Take, I don't play that for six such days. a thing, but I just then, know, I understand. Yeah, I mean, you're within the perimeters of the, uh, of yeah, the return yeah. policy. That's what they have it set for. All you do is you return that other game and buy your other game. So you just switch a week on, a week off. Yeah, and but now you don't really have to. Now, like doing such a thing, like you can buy like uh, Game Pass from Xbox, or there's mm-hmm. there's even like uh, yeah, the other PlayStation services. Plus. You can get yeah. stuff like that too. But with that, you're keeping your money rolling. You're not you're not losing your money because within that seven day period, you can get a full refund. Yeah, I mean, don't game the system, guys. If if they go down, we're gonna lose all of these these games we've been getting. Just saying that. No, I, I get what you're saying. I might have done that once or twice. I mean, or seven I'm days in, or seven weeks in a room. GameStop. I did too. I'm pretty sure I did that. I did too. I was a GA, a game advisor. Yeah. Yeah, I had a Nintendo belt buckle. That was the coolest. I could also do my alphabet forward and backwards really fast because you have to learn how to alphabetize really well there. That's very true. I I didn't make it that far in GameStop. Oh, lot. dude. I climbed, I, I had I climbed like to the four, top of the GA ladder, well, which was I, just one position, and then I left <laughs> from the military. I had, four, I had four jobs at the time, and I'm like, yeah, GameStop, why not? Oh. And then they like wanted me for Thanksgiving? Or, no, I don't know. Uh, Black, Black Friday or something like that. Oh, like, sure. one of Black yeah. Fridays, and I got dual scheduled, so like I had to work at American Eagle and at GameStop at the same time. And you would work at American Eagle. I can't I did. I did work uh, at American Eagle, gross. but, okay, anyway. <laughs> that's That's off topic. <laughs> what is on topic though is the fact that I told my GameStop um, manager at the time I was like he hated me by the way because I made him look like a fool for some reason I don't remember what I did to be honest it's been far too long but uh, I like kind of called him out on something he did wrong like eth- ethically I don't, I don't know it's good but man you've I can't always, remember you've always been an ethical person I, I tried to be um, then he like hated me ever since and then like I went to him I was like hey um they, they need me to work because they're understaffed and he's like we're understaffed I'm like I understand this can you just schedule me for a different time and I can switch somebody out and he's like if you don't switch it out then you're fired and I'm like I quit cool. <laughs> so I was I'm like I'm sorry I had to quit I, I went to GameStop and Pizza Hut so my life was pretty awesome free pizza and free games that's, that's a great for a good so, for a good solid year and a half so if you're young and you're looking for a gig and you want to do two Pizza Hut and GameStop Pizza sound. Hut and GameStop well I don't know about GameStop anymore just yeah, they're going out. Of, they're going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was getting at. Okay, uh, kind of getting at. Like, I, I, they're gonna switch up. They're gonna switch up. Their, here's what I would like to see. We didn't even. Have, this isn't even the notes, but we're talking about it because I'm talking about it. Yeah. This is what I would like to see. Whenever you go and you trade in a game to GameStop, and they give you their store credit because it has to go back into the store. Yeah, they should have an online store where I can purchase digital games or purchase content yeah. using that card that they give me that can only be used in GameStop. They need to make themselves an online digital something like that to where that game gets ported. And it would be a better move for them because when you buy a digital game, you can't return it. Yep. So they would actually just make money more. I think the digital games nowadays you can return. Even Steam is coming out with, I think, uh, I think, I think France was trying to sue Steam for the idea of they can't, 
can't do. I don't know. It was something I read a while back about something about returning games that you buy digitally. I don't know. I mean, I would like. I I understand it. You, like, you, you, you I could do it. It's a return if it was like the seven day thing, right? Like I downloaded this game, I tried to play it, I really didn't like it, or it's yeah. not for me. I want to return it. But I just, I don't know. I have like, I don't know, I have like a hundred bucks on a GameStop power up card, and every time I go to GameStop, like, I don't want any of these games. Yeah. And now I'm just like, I wish I could just use this towards yeah. something online. I know Steam does like a two. I think his. Uh, I might be wrong on this, but I think it's two hours. Like you, you play two hours of the game, you don't like it, you return it. Oh, that's cool. Good, but good on them. Two, but I've I've done it. I've done it once that I left my game on when I didn't think about it. I'm like, I hate this game, and I like walked away, got something to eat. Like, did my own thing and then came back and it was like three hours into it. And Thank like, you for to, buying. You're like, yeah, ah. I'm like, son of gun. Like, I wanted to return this game and I can't now. And I tried to explain it to get, uh, to Steam and they didn't didn't have it. I don't care. That's okay. It's okay. It's whatever. <laughs> I have so many games that I don't play and I bought them. It's just a waste of money. But I, I do too. It's what it is. It is, what, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's all that it is. Sorry, we still stopped about talk, stopped talking about BlizzCon and that was the BlizzCon. Whole the next thing that they brought up was. Um, Hearthstone. Hearthstone. I never played Hearthstone. I never got into games. I've played Magic the Gathering before, um, and it's actually sad, not sad to admit, but like I played it like two, two, three years back. Like, like for the first time. cards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is all digital stuff. Well, yeah. I don't like. I don't is. like the idea of a digital card game. You like the physical cards, like yeah, Pokemon, like. Oh yeah, I still got my. I got my collection, man. I saw my collection this actually today when I was up in the attic looking for some stuff. Oh, I thought you said you sold your. You still have. Your I collection. still have my collection. I need to sell it though. I have some good. Are people still wanting Pokemon cards? Yeah. I don't even know what they're on. I know Pokemon Sword and Shield is kind of like. It, yeah. Is, I don't. I don't. I'm sure you can. Yes, people are still buying. We sell. Yeah, you can still buy Pokemon. Cards. Okay. Well, I don't know. I was just curious because I know that it was a huge thing back when I was in high school. Yeah. Like that was that was the thing. Like oh if my you got that dates me so much, man. Pokemon yeah. came out when I was in fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah. I'm old. Isn't that sad? Yeah, I'm old. Yeah, but, but no. <laughs> your young whippersnappers know nothing about no Pokemon. Yeah, I know. We were the OGs. You guys were the OGs. And then Yu-Gi-Oh! came out. And I was like, rip off. I don't want it. And then Digimon came out? Dude, no, that's I, what it was. Actually, Sorry, Digimon. Digimon and then was a rip-off of Yu-Gi-Oh! though, right? I think Digimon was a rip-off of Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! was kind of its own thing. It just had to do with cards. And then they had Beyblade, which I think was kind of a rip-off of Yu-Gi-Oh! I saw this funny. T- I know this is off topic, but I don't care. Um, There's a really funny cash. TikTok video that I saw not too long ago. <laughs> you and TikTok. I, I, I know it's bad. It's, it, it's, yeah, it, I just sit sit and like and just look at it for hours. Like, I can't play any modes. It takes too much time. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. <laughs> um, no, but I was watching this and someone's like, "You call me a geek? How dare you?" He's like, "I take offense to that." And he like he's like, "I'm gonna battle you." And he's like, he pulls out his fisticuffs like he's gonna fight him, and then he pulls out a Beyblade and he pulls like rips it. Oh my is that- gosh. Yeah, that's what it was, man. So it was like funny. it was like the the show of Beyblade was like these spinning things that fight, and then they actually made the arenas, and you could go and you. Yeah, that's why. Okay, I was making sure that was Beyblade because I maybe. Do you remember Pogs? Yeah, of course. I yeah, remember dude. Pogs. I think it's it was kind of like the new Pogs. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. It really is. Yeah, well, we got off the topic of we Hearthstone, did but... Hearthstone. Uh, the next expansion is called Descent of Dragons. Yes, um, and the action takes place in. Uh, so Dragon Blight, which was oh, recognized from the World of Warcraft Lich King expansion, which yeah, I I, I know that because yeah. I played it. Yeah, <laughs> dude, see, yeah, that's where that's where World of Warcraft comes in handy. They they see? tie it all back in. Um, they do. They do. I don't really remember. Job. I don't remember really what we talked about when we looked this up. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm being honest, man. Like, I don't I don't play the. Um, so they're uh, they're having legendary dragons. Uh, they have two alternate forms that players can switch between, uh, thanks to the new keyword invoke. So you can switch between two different types of dragons, which is kind of cool. Um, and I guess there's a new battle, uh, new game play mode called Battlegrounds. Um, and there's a lot of detail about Battlegrounds and stuff that I don't, I don't feel comfortable talking about just because I don't know enough about it. Okay. I'll be 100% honest that I, I never got into Hearthstone. So yeah. like me reading that description of what it was, I didn't really understand what it was. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. We did read all that. Um, <laughs> I, no, we did. I'm, I'm saying that. I remember now. There was because... a lot of detail to it and I, I just didn't understand because yeah. I never played the game. It's very tough to get a concept of a play a, like a play mode uh when you just don't know what, what's yeah. going on i've never, never i've never played it um but the cool thing is is for all of you uh hearthstone fans out there you guys have another expansion coming out 
uh, Descent to Dragons. I don't think we got a release date on that one either yeah, um, when we looked good. it up. Um, but hey, you, it's coming for you guys, and that's if you play it, they're doing it for you. So yeah, con- congratulations. I hope they don't screw it up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. I hope they don't. What a what a what a great way to what, send them man? off. I, I hope they don't. Yeah, yeah. Overwatch. Overwatch two. Now this this was kind of oh yeah I'm sorry Overwatch two. This was kind of interesting to me even though I don't play Overwatch. Yeah, I, I loved Overwatch. Yeah. I still play Overwatch here and there. Well, now you can play number two. Eventually, yes. <laughs> it's still on. Um, so the big things that I took away from it, not knowing anything about the game, was they said 32 characters. Yep. They're releasing with 32 characters, and the and then it said with the original 31 characters. And so I did some deductive reasoning, and it turns out that there's just one new character. <laughs> that, yeah, playable character. Um, so Sojourn, um, who is a character, I guess, that if you play Overwatch, you've seen this character come up. It's a, a black chick. Can I say black? Colored, colored female? I don't know what's politically... It's a black chick. She's black. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe she's not. Maybe she's a different class. Are there classes? Yeah, well... There's, there's like tank, it's like, it's, oh, it's so hard. It's tank, there's tank healers, DPS, kind of, kind of sailor situation, but each, each character has their own special abilities, um, that can help their team and cause more damage to the other team. So it's, it's well, so you get this new black chick and she can do all of that kind of cool stuff. Um, and then all of your original 31 characters are in different outfits and you were going like, Ooh, ah, look at him. Oh, he looks different. Yeah. So I was, when I was watching the trailer <laughs> for it, I noticed that a lot of, uh, the original characters got a, a facelift, if you will. I noticed that <laughs> Reinhardt had like a longer hair and a longer beard, different, different looking armor. Um, I know that Genji changed his armor. Like everyone's changed their, st- like their look basically, which is, which is neat to see. Um, but uh, I was hoping for a little bit more with the new characters, to be honest. Yeah, um, yeah. But I understand that they do such a great job of coming out with new characters and finding ways to actually utilize their strengths and make it so that they do have weaknesses to current um, characters, which is really nice. Okay. They do a really good job of equaling uh, each other out. Okay. So they have like someone is like very powerful, but they have someone to counteract that person. That's what I'm trying to say. They do a really good job of playing off of other characters. So. You also said that they release a lot of content, right? Yes. They have a lot of content that comes out just pretty much all the time. Yeah, so and they have different... Keeps people interested. In, it's in it's really neat. They always have like um, events that are going on in Overwatch. They constantly keep up with that, like Chinese New Year. They have Christmas events. They just had a Halloween event recently. Um, um, they, they have events all the time. And it's awesome because they have different loots. Uh, loot drops and things like that are loot loot boxes, if I remember the technical term, because they like they're like a crate that you open up. Crates. Yeah. So, um, they also were talking about. Oh, they also did mention the fact that you can keep all the stuff that you've unlocked for all your characters into the new Overwatch. That's so cool. Overwatch Two will accept the skins that you've unlocked and everything you've unlocked for uh, all your characters thus far, and will transfer it over, which is. Pretty awesome. I was going to say, that's huge news. That's, yeah. That's good. That is. That is huge. It's yeah, awesome. that is. That's awesome. Um, all right, man. I know you, I've been itching to get to this, and I, I love Overwatch, and I'm, I can go on about Overwatch, but I know you want to get onto this next next topic, so. I don't know which one I want to talk about first, though. Should we end on a good note? Or yeah, should we end on, on a let's bad end on a note? Good, let's go ahead and end on a good note. All right, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> So if you've been listening to the podcast, you know that this game, Death Stranding, I have been dying to play this game. Yes. I've been wanting to get my hands on this game. I'm waiting. Like, every day I'm like looking. It's like, oh, it's still November 4th. Like, dang. Like, I just want this game to come out. So looked up some more stuff about it, some different gameplay. This game looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's be fair. The, the game, the way in which they carried out the game looks very... Who I don't even know how to know how to put it nicely. It's, um, it looks. It very... almost looks like a joke. <laughs> like it's got these beautiful graphics. It's got a really cool plot. This story behind it. But when you really dive deeper into what you're actually doing in the game, it seems repetitive. It looks like it could be very frustrating. So, like put your controller against the wall. Very frustrating. So so let's paint a picture for you, the listeners, more or less. So Death Stranding has. Like we said, we've, we've talked about the storyline. If you haven't seen the storyline or understand what's going on, please watch the trailer. Please read about it. It, it is an interesting storyline. 
that would have you going. Like it, it's so different that yeah, it makes you want to get the game immediately when you see and read these things. But the way they carried it out is just it's it looks like it's poor and like. The fact that we haven't played it, I haven't actually put my hands on it, yeah. but from what I've seen, and um, I'm not even talking about the reviews, I'm talking about like the gameplay that I've seen. Um, it, it looks frustrating. It looks very frustrating. Um, so one of the big things that um, IGN, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with IGN, one of the big things that they're attacking is the inventory system of this game. Yes. They said it is incredibly specific and incredibly in-depth, and as you start to build up your inventory... Well, <clears throat> Let's back up a little bit. The reason you have such a vast inventory is because you're a uh, courier yes. or uh, whomever these people are, where you are, your job is to get product from point A to point B. Yeah. Right? Which sounds cool, I guess. Like, it, even it, that, yeah, the concept <laughs> even sounds that, amazing, but even that if you have to do me. it repetitively, like, like it's that's a repetitive the game. task. Yeah. Yeah, that's the game. Like, I mean, there's other things that you can do, but it's mostly taking something from point A to point B. Yeah, the game is taking things from point A to point B. That's it. Anyway, so as you're taking, as you progress in said game, taking things from point A to point B, you start to get more things to take to point B, and you have to, based on what I saw real quick, looks like it's even based on weight. The way that you stack them, yes. um, and they essentially end up like Jenga pieces stacking up on your back, and it slows you down. If you trip and fall, you drop all of your stuff and have to pick it all up. Um, and as you're walking down, we'll say uh, like the uh, hillside, you are you're like tilting and you're leaning either way. It's and all based they on said, weight, which is yeah. which is neat, which is a neat concept, and I understand why they did it. It's, it's like it's, a mini game. It's like a mini game inside a, of a in, massive in game. A, yes. Inside of a massive game where it's like, see if you can get to point A to point B without falling over with all the stuff on your back. Like, that's cool. Yeah, I did it. I made it to this yeah, thing. We. I get to try the next one where they give me two more boxes on my back. Now, now the whole yeah. game is like this. Like, that's the game. Yeah. Um, and so that was one, one small thing that we saw. Um, a cool thing that they did put into it, which I think is a great concept for this game, is where when you're running around in the world, whereas you might not see, if you're playing and I'm playing, I'm not going to run into you anywhere. However, if you build a bridge to get to some place, I can see that bridge. Yes, bridge. But it can also be very misleading because we even saw on the thing where a guy went up a ladder and at the top of the ladder, he just on the side of a mountain. People can troll you basically and lead you to nowhere. Lead you to nowhere. And then whenever you try to get off that ladder, you fall and drop off your stuff and now you're going to spend the next... 40 yes. minutes picking up your pieces just to try to continue down this mountain or up wherever you're trying to go. Yeah. But not only is the inventory management and getting from point A to point B really frustrating, they also showed a lot of parts about travel uh, or sneaking past things. Mm -hmm. um, once you, The gameplay is technically very slow from what they said from going point A to point B, you have to constantly run long distances. And even though if the, I guess, area is very vast and beautiful... Um, it's extremely long, like task to get from point A to point B. And when you sneak past the Death Stranding, you have to like crouch and hold your breath, which makes it even go yeah. slower. And then they also say that fast travel is extremely frustrating. And they're showing an example in which if you wanted to get to this really far distance in the middle of nowhere, you have to run back to, um, I guess, your home base like that, to yeah. um, go to his room, which you have to go through a cutscene which goes into another cutscene, which goes into another cutscene for you to finally skip out of all those cutscenes and then get to the umbrella, which then can teleport you to the place that you want to go, which sounds extremely frustrating. Yeah, and, and if, if we back up to the beginning of that, um, what we were seeing was when it said, so you're in the middle of nowhere and you want to, and it showed the map and you want to go here, it said, but first you have to go to this location, which it showed the guy start walking towards that location. He has all this stuff on his back. He's trying to make sure he doesn't wobble. He's walking slowly. And he said, okay, I'm just going to speed this up. So he walked there in his time, but he sped it up for us. And it was still like, I'd say a 15 seconds speeding up where this dude is just, like, that's a long distance. Yes. That's, we're talking, we're talking probably 45 minutes to get to where he was trying to go. Yeah. Um, and luckily he didn't fall over and drop any of his stuff because if he, he had, a, it just takes even more. And even fighting um, creatures. So you do fight creatures. You do get gadgets later on. But it's extremely frustrating when you have stuff on your back and you fight a creature because if the creature hits you, your stuff just goes flying everywhere. Um, and that means you you have to not only kill the creature and collect your reward, which uh, they said that was... I don't know, like I said, we were just going off of speculation, yeah. but you get crystals for um, crafting items later on mm -hmm. and, and very low rewards, I guess, for killing these big creatures. 
but you have to pick up your stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, after you kill a creature and you get the handful of whatever that doesn't seem like a reward, you also have to go around and pick up all of your things. And he showed, he panned and showed because as you drop stuff, you'll move faster. So now you're fighting this thing. You get hit again. You drop some more stuff. So now you're moving faster. So you're running around all over the place, losing items. Now you have to go all back to all of those places and collect your items. He said that, the, I like the way that he related it. He said, it's like being in a food fight and at the end of it, your prize is a mop and bucket. Yes. That's what he said. And if you win the, like, win the food fight, you get a mop yeah, and bucket. Yeah, if you win the food fight, you get a mop and bucket. No, but they did um, say that, that they gave you the ability to build roads to help you speed up and you can use uh, vehicles later on in mm -hmm. the game to speed up that process of you delivering you things. Weapons. But once it starts getting more fluent, the game... They actually throw a monkey wrench into it, and they take you to a different different part of the map, which is like this snowy, yeah. mountainous region, Waste, which... Sweet, steep snow, yeah. Yeah, and they said that vehicles are basically useless Yeah, there. useless, yeah. So you have to you have to traverse the landscape mm -hmm. with zip lines and, and things zip like lines. that. That, they wouldn't even, that Sony won't, that won't show yet, I guess is what he said. He yeah. said that they won't, they actually like won't release, I guess, that part of the game yet, for whatever reason. Um, but at the same time, like... It just seems like just just watching it, just watching the videos, man. Like I'm just like, man, because you see how slow he's walking, and you see how uh, they said that once you do get to you do get to a certain part though, where instead of crouching and hiding from all of these people that you're trying to sneak by, you actually can go like hand to hand. You start getting weapons. Yeah. Um, you start able to build roads. You get these. Um, you get the vehicles, like you were saying, and then they take you to a different part of the map, and you have a this gun, but you're walking through way steep snow. So, I mean, right. I'd love to try to pick this game up and try to play it just to give it a fair shot, um, but it oh, I have seems... to. I talked it up. I have to. Yeah, it but... seems like it's going to be frustrating, but I, I would like to formulate my own opinion and see where it goes. I'm... From what I've seen, it seems like it's going to be a very frustrating journey, but I want to give it a shot. I yeah, really do. definitely still play it, and um, you know, I can't. Come I'm just obviously I was talking it up based on what I saw, and I'm bashing it based on what I saw when it comes yeah. to gameplay and the and some of the some of the reviews. I don't really like to listen to the reviewers. I like to more just see how the game actually plays. Yeah. Um, I just yeah. November eighth, you can find November 8th, out. November eighth, man. I I, don't, I can't. I, to do your, I think do your I might, GameStop thing. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> If, I actually, I give it, I give it a couple weeks before that that game starts getting just turned into GameStop. Left I just want to see other people's reviews. Like I, I like to sit back sometimes and just look at other people's reviews and see if like maybe maybe IGN is just you know it's kind of like Rotten Tomatoes. You mm -hmm. never know. You know, yeah, people that's, might that's just, what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It you never know. Um, I would actually. I think what would be really funny with this game is once people start getting into it to pull them up on um, Twitch and watch them play. Because I bet they get Ooh, so, I bet they get so frustrated, and I bet they're yelling and screaming at the screen. And they're gonna have a controller graveyard. I'm sure. Oh my gosh, man! Like, there's only been a few games that makes me want to just throw my controller. Hey, I'll tell you one game that won't want make you want to throw your controller. And you've been wanting to talk about it forever, so go ahead. <gasps> <laughs> that's one way to announce it yeah <laughs> yeah dude um the fallen order star wars jedi fallen order so this game even with the gameplay continues to look like it's going to be really awesome um one of the cool things about this game is all of the the customiz customizing you can do and the fact that it's not following it's following the star wars line but it's not like all these new character or all these old characters that you're used to seeing like you're your own yes. dude um he's got he's got someone who's guiding him and it turns out what's happening is that the empire is seeking out the remainder of the jedi they so find is, out that you were a jedi this and is after through. order 66 is executed mm -hmm. and he escapes somehow order 66 yes well put <laughs> no, but he, he escapes this, and you have to play mm -hmm. as this character. And oh man, I'm. I also want to see if we can customize the Jedi, character. I'm sorry, yeah, this Jedi. I'm also curious if you can customize the character. Can I make him look like me? I want him to look like me. No, and, and you have to play as a specific character within the realm. You, you can sure? change. You can change his clothes and everything like that. You I'm, can still I'm, be the character and just look different. I'm almost positive that you can change the looks and appearance of the individual, but. I could be wrong because right. his name's Cal, I, I believe. I, I can't remember to be honest. It's it's been a while. I have so many games in my mind. Um, but yeah. yeah, something like that. But dude, this game just and now they're starting to show even more with the powers because my whole thing was like the force push. Remember I was talking about the force unleashed and yes. how like they don't have to grab someone. And it shows there's a scene where he's like running and he stops and he uses both hands and pushes two different people. Um, it looks like almost off of something or yes. off of a ledge. So that looks cool. Um, 
Yeah, man, I'm stoked. Throwing lightsabers. Throwing lightsabers. Um, I did notice that I did watch some of the, or read some information saying that you can cut robots and creatures in half, but you cannot cut uh, people or human humans in half. See, I, we talked about that last time, which sucks because I really want to just cut someone straight down the middle like this and just watch them like... Anyways, but... Um, yeah. It, with the trailer that not, the the news trailer that we just saw that we released, I think it was like what I think the video we saw said ten hours ago or something like that. Maybe I don't know if that's the newest newest trailer, but I hadn't seen it, so I watched it. Um, it shows him sword fighting someone, and then at the end when he goes to cut him in half, it does cut away. But like that's clearly him cutting through that dude. Uh, he was he seemed like a robot. I don't know though. To really be honest, I, I, I don't know. Mm. I, I could have swore that was like just another Jedi or another dude with a lightsaber. See, like I can't remember in Star Wars besides Darth Maul being cut in half. Like mm-hmm. I can't really remember like someone actually being cut in half. I mean, I'm not saying body parts. I'm saying cut in half. Cut in half. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember I don't anybody else besides Darth Maul. But well, it's now that Disney's now. taking over, maybe we'll start to get more of it because they're sick. Disney's sick. Sick and twisted. Head. You oh. think so? Oh my gosh, yes. What? It's Disney. I mean, we don't need to talk about Walt well, the Disney. Little, the little hiding of the and, things inside of... If you go and look up who Walt Disney was, well, dude was course. crazy. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> sure they're just falling right in line with that, and hopefully we start getting people cutting. I like that. the little Easter eggs they hide in every like every Disney movie, or the old Disney movies. I don't know if they do it to the new ones. I'm sure they still do. It'll I'm just sure be a while do. before we see them. That's a pretty good point, but I'm sure people are walking like a hawk. I, I have to look it up. I'm sure they do still have it. But no, this game looks really interesting. There's a lot of different games combined into one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember we were talking about this one day, and it was like um, Uncharted kind of, but it has like a mm-hmm. puzzle aspect to it. There's yeah, a free running aspect mm-hmm. of it showed um, you as a Jedi running and jumping off of walls, Force kind of jump. like yeah, dude. yeah, which is which is awesome. And I this game see. looks very. Um, <sighs> What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very open ended, but yet it's still closed in. Like mm-hmm. so, you can't. It's not like you can go anywhere, but it's like you can go anywhere within a certain area. Yeah, um, and that's really cool because I think that's where a lot of the um, tailoring your gear, tailoring your. Um, I, I'm curious to see if there's health potions and things like that that you can carry. Um, just in, you know, if you're of in course. a dungeon, you get hurt. So that's probably where you'd buy all those things. Um, side quests is where you get all of those. Um, and I hope th- I hope that it takes you like even if it's only open in one area. Yeah. I hope that if I go to area B and I talk to this dude and he's like, "Yo, I need you to go to area C and do this." Like it can cross. You know what I mean? Like it can cross that as well, even though it might be a cutscene or a, or a, a low time into the next area. Yeah. That would still be really cool for me. Um, it wouldn't be as open and as walk around as Grand Theft Auto, but um, but I noticed that um, in one of the articles that I was reading they said that they will reward people from before just looking around the world because mm-hmm. they have so many different um, like items that are hidden in yeah. the game so you can actually find more things and, and tailor your, your character to what you find and um, if you really look you can find some really rare items yeah, so it's um, yeah I'm really excited November 15th November 15th we're all going to be Jedi again I do have one last question for you I got one last answer for you home Google Stadia is that have your interest whatsoever. So Google Stadia, whole new platform. You can get Stadia Pro. Um, let you um, is that the gaming thing on the phone? Oh yeah, you can play on tablet, phone, yeah, um, where Chromecast. You, where I you can pull like isn't it, it's major titles too. Where like if you're playing it Call of Duty be, on your thing, be, you can also have it on here and then just do this. It will be major titles stream. at some point in time, but right now they only have a certain amount of games it's going to launch with. I've never been one to play games on a tablet or a phone, um, or honestly, even a computer. I've never been a computer gamer. So you need to start playing on a fact, computer, but I, I can understand phone and stuff. Right. So it's the tough. fact that they're launching a thing that I can be like, "Yay!" isn't. But you know, people game. are going to be going nuts because yeah, you, know, you pay a ten bucks, you get play. a bunch of free games to your library each month. You get um, you can you can stream four K. Um, what is it? Sixty frames per second. Yeah, that's what we said uh, last high time. High definition. But uh, it's awesome. Some people are going to eat it up. Um, I see people. So this is a good contender. Or not contender, but this falls right in line with those people that buy like the Razer phone. Have you seen the Razer phone? Like yeah. A gaming, it's like a gaming cell phone. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. So there's people that have that that are big into gaming and big. Or I mean, I guess we're big into gaming, but in our own rights. Um, the people that have the Razer phone are probably like, can't wait for this to drop because that phone is going to be able to power this and yeah. make it look really, really good well and... Well, yeah, good. Really, really good. I'm doing well. It's going to be good. (laughs) Yeah. So, 
Yeah, um, I don't know, man. We'll just have to we'll just have to watch. I want to give I, a I'm, shot just because. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll give I'm a shot just, too. We should link up on one of the games and just see what we think about it. Yeah, I like uh, like I said, I want to see what it does, see how it performs. Uh, upon you know further inspection, we'll give you our honest review on it. Oh, I'll tell you what I think about it. Yeah, I just really want to see what it's <laughs> capable of doing because they said that they want to try to refrain from having you download anything, so you just play it right from there. And I want to see how seamless it is. I mean, those people that, yeah, I mean, so now we're talking about upping your internet speed. We're talking about making sure that you're connected to Wi-Fi, obviously. Yeah, you have to be. Um, unless you're in Florida and you're running on that 5G. They have 5G down in Florida. Yeah. It's pretty sick. Pretty much as soon as I cross the state line into Florida out of Georgia, it's like 5G. Sick. <laughs> sick, dude. I can listen to my music even faster, faster now. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't do anything um, game, like on my, on my phone. Can I play Jedi uh, Fallen Order on, um, on uh, what's it called? Google, Google Stadia? Stadia. I want to... <laughs> I don't know about on launch. Uh, I don't believe... Oh like, I know that they're doing Destiny 2 on launch. Um, like, how are you going to play... How are you going to be jumping around and doing Destiny 2 things on your cellular phone? On your so, so, cellular uh, device? So... So they have um, ways in which you can actually use a controller to connect to your phone to play. Uh, I'm just telling you that's. Just I know. Not a- I know that. But what I'm saying is like people like okay, the people that are going to go out there and buy a controller so they can play games on their cell phone. This is who this is. That's this is coming out for you guys, yeah. and I hope that you guys will love it, and I hope they don't screw it up. That's that's that's, that's your key. That's that's what you're going to go with. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That makes perfect sense. I, I hope they. Do. I hope that they're able to seamlessly do this because. Honestly, I don't know how it's gonna be possible right off the bat. Like, I don't see them doing this seamlessly. I feel like them saying, "Hey, X amount of people, you're gonna play at 4K, uh, 60 frames per second, you know, high definition." Probably crash. Probably crash the servers. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not talking. I'm not talking crap. I'm honestly not. I just no, crash. I hope, I hope. No, I say I'm not oh. talking crap. Oh. I just hope that they can do it because that paves the way for the future of games that are being streamed from. Anything, Any service, yeah. yeah. I hear that, man. So if they crush it on cell phones. I can only imagine what they'll start doing, and then GameStop is really going to be <laughs> job. <laughs> what? No, that's true. If we're click, if, I, if I can click a button, not download anything, and they just and I mean, let's say, <clears throat> let's think really into the future, right into the future, where like PlayStation Six comes out solid state drive, but it's only got like I don't know, we'll say a hundred gigs. Because you're just streaming everything instantly in 4K off of the internet. So it doesn't need anything other than an operating system on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, and you then the physical sh- discs are no longer going to be useful. And GameStop is just barren. Yeah. I mean, that, that could happen, but maybe they can get in the digital age. I don't know. Maybe we'll I'll have to see. I want to stop attacking GameStop. I go to GameStop. Like I just said, I, I have a thing in my wallet for yeah. GameStop. Like I, I, go, I go to GameStop. I am a regular at GameStop. I don't have the magazines anymore. I stopped. Although I should probably get back into those. I think they do they do digital magazines now, or can you still get like actual oh, copies of magazines? Ooh, that's a great question. I used to do Game Informer back in the good old days. Game Informer, yeah, it's good. I need to step back that set. <clears throat> I need to step that back up. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I haven't. I don't know anything about Game Informer anymore. I don't even know if they're still there. A lot of companies it that is, it, I, yeah, I saw them on the thing. I was just really. I don't know. I just I, don't, I think I think they also do a um, a digital copy too, where if you're like. I want your power up, whatever, and they're like, "Well, do you want it digital or do you want sure. the actual physical copy?" No, but with everything that's going on right now, there's a lot of awesome games that can, like are coming out, and unfortunately, I don't know about Death Stranding, but I'd like to give it a fair shot. I really do. Jedi Fall, um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order looks awesome. Unless I hear something about, unless I hear something about, you gotta like when you balance across a rope, you gotta hold. That's what they were saying about Death Stranding. You gotta hold each trigger and then use your thumbs to keep them upright as you're walking down the yeah, thing. Yeah, it sounds frustrating. I, I want to give it a shot, yeah. see what happens. So if I don't have to do that in Jedi Fallen Order, then we're good. Yeah. Overwatch Two looks good, I guess, for you Overwatch fans. I, I, I do. I like I like Overwatch. It looks. I mean, it's Overwatch. There you go. People are making millions of dollars on it. Hearthstone. Um, People are making millions of dollars on that too. Off Hearthstone. Yeah. Did you hear the the. Uh, I thought we talked about it on the last pod, one of the last podcasts. We talked about um, the dude that got banned. Yeah, that was Hearthstone. Yeah, I thought that was something else. No, Blitzchung. Yeah, I thought he. I thought they were playing a different game. That was the card was, game. Yeah, that was Hearthstone. That dude wore a protest mask to play a, a digital card game. Yeah. He deserves to be banned. What? 
<laughs> Sorry, no, I'm just joking. Good luck over there, Hong Kong. Um, wow, Shadowlands, um, new factions, <laughs> high 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 level raids, uh, Diablo Four. Yeah, um, completely, completely dark. <laughs> if you if you're looking to get back into the Halloween spirit, I actually might take a dip in the pool of Diablo. To be honest with you, Diablo Four, the depths of hell, a fiery the, pool the of blood fire, pool is the what blood I'm pool about. of fire. Yes, yeah, super sacrilegious. Um, and then um, <laughs> it is uh, augmented reality versus uh, virtual reality. I'm still on the virtual reality side, but I'm curious to see what Apple's going to do. Probably blow all of our minds. I'm sure they will. You don't even need a wand. You got an Apple Watch on, and you got a phone in your pocket. We've mapped you already. Jarvis. Grab your what do they call it? The what's that thing they call it? I just got an. It's the when it makes your no it makes your, makes your own face, and you're like a emoji. Mioji, me 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 oji. Right. Your, your own. Me, me, yeah, emoji. Emoji. Me, yeah. Memoji? Is that what it's called? A memoji? I, I have no idea. But That's what they I, call I it. It's I understand like, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it just takes that from you and like it just builds you and stuff. I guess that would be augmented reality. And then it kills you and then takes your place in it the world. flips you upside down and sucks all your blood out. And then a Jedi comes through and cuts everything down and you look down and there's a I dude falling you, over with a bunch of shit on his back. <laughs> I, I think I think they just described every game that we were just talking about today. Okay, and you're playing cards with it, right? Yeah. It's an MMO. Trying to deal with it. It's, it's an MMO, yeah. And then they have special abilities. I can't even think of a way to put in Overwatch 2 in that category. I'm getting more characters. Yeah, one new, one new character. One new character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can hit every topic, so it's, we're good. We're good, man. Hey, like us on um, all of them. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Follow us. Listen to us on any place that you listen to your podcasts. Um, tell your friends about us. Click the like button. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um, drop us some snail mail as well. We got a bunch of it piling up back here. It's getting crazy. So, um, until next time. <laughs> yeah. That's how we go. Until next time. Stay away from the pool of blood, from the yeah, possibilities man. of the depths of hell yeah, from Diablo. Correct. And when it comes out, I just hope they don't screw it up. <laughs> <laughs>